Well, I found King Abdulaziz Tamil Festival a fantastic experience for anybody, whether you're Saudi or you're European. I come from a country where it values animals, um, particularly horses and also cow and sheep. Um, Ireland traditionally has been an uh, agrarian society in the recent years developed into something more uh, tech savvy. But traditionally in Irish psyche is always connected to animals. Particularly in Saudi Arabia, I think camels are not only an animal that is useful traditionally, but also as part of the Arab character. It's a companion of the, of the Arab people throughout history. I know about the inscriptions found in Nizran 3,500 years ago with a camel on it. And I know in the Holy Quran as well, it's an animal that is valued. God asking people to contemplate how camels have been created. So camel is a national pride uh, animal in Saudi Arabia and I totally understand that. And I would really encourage uh, particularly young Saudis to feel connected to this side of their culture. It's, it's, it's their pride and it's their history. And in Ireland, as I said, we're very tech savvy. We're good at uh, so many areas um, in the technological world. But at the same time, still an Irish person connects with its farming background, with uh, the animals that provided a livelihood for Irish people for centuries. So I really encourage uh, Saudis to connect uh, a lot with that side of the culture and not to forget about it, it's very important. It's like connecting more uh, to Saudi Arabia when you see that side of Saudi Arabia. Now, Saudi Arabia is a very advanced society, it's a developed country, it has skyscrapers and companies and very fancy cars. But this side of Saudi Arabia explains a lot about generosity that you see today in Saudis who are very educated, very smart people like yourself who speak perfect English but then they have this Arab side where you have the generosity of heart and, uh, and uh, when you see the tent and the Katrin here it explains basically where all this came from so it's really, it puts people in perspective it shows even with humble origins this value of generosity and, and people helping each other uh, has been here for centuries. Now with camels, many Irish people wouldn't have probably thought of it, but I think if in the future we have more collaboration, I'm sure, it, I know it's very popular here in the region, camels in the, in the kingdom here, and also in neighboring countries like the Emirates. So there is of course potential and people in Ireland, if they know about it, I have no doubt they'll explore the options. I think Saudi Arabia, has an amazing history, something to be very proud of. Uh, history that involves um, generosity, uh, collaboration of people, and innovation. And when you trace it back to the traditions that have been explained to me, like the Gatine here, and living in the tent, and, and people helping each other, and taking pride of the culture, I think particularly young people should be always encouraged take part of these activities. They're very fun, I have to say. I mean, it's an amazing experience. I uh, enjoyed every single moment. I've been here since maybe 11 o'clock. It's almost three o'clock now. And I feel bad I have to go back home now. It's amazing, it's absolutely wonderful. I encourage everybody, whether European or Saudi, particularly young people, come here, explore your cultures, be proud of it, because other countries do that. And you should definitely do that. Well, my favorite is the black one, because it's the authentic one. <laughs> Not today. I like black camels, the way they look, but also I was told today that uh, they're very authentic camels. They came from the Arabian Peninsula, and, and that was the, the way camels looked like thousands of years ago. So I go for black camels. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much.